Hey, yeah. So I've been um, giving a couple of talks to some universities recently, helping third year students uh, with advice on their CV and portfolio and how to get into the industry. And I thought it'd be really useful for me to do a video on interview tips. Um, so first things first, you've either you're looking for an internship and you're studying or you've just finished your studies. What's the top tips for getting a job in the industry in regards to how you prepare yourself for an interview? So the most important thing I want you to remember is the only difference between you and the person interviewing you is years experience. So this person is going to see in you where they were years ago when they were a junior, when they were starting out in the industry. So we all expect nerves from juniors. That's totally fine. Do not worry about the fact you might be nervous. It's so nerve wracking. I, I remember um, being a junior myself. And when you show your work, you really feel like you're revealing a bit of like, it's like your heart and soul, right? It's like the first time you're doing this, you're putting your work up for critique and it can feel quite um, a sensitive thing to do. But with repetition and over time, you'll learn to navigate this experience and these responses that you get when people do critique your work but take it on board this is meant to be to help you learn to assist you in being the best designer and the best creative that you can be so how do you deal with nerves okay i've got a couple of top tips for you one make sure you do your research and you're really prepared. Being prepared is going to really help you be more confident in the interview because you've looked at the company, you know what they do, you've read the job spec, you've done all your research. I mean, that is the most important thing here. And don't forget that 50% of the interview is all about your skill set um, and your experience. And 50% is how are you going to fit in as a personality within the team? And it's always about finding the right home for you the right career home from you and this is learned through like internships and interviews and which hiring manager do you connect with is the main thing so make sure that if you attend that interview that you're gonna nail it like you're in it to win it right you're not in it to breeze it to maybe get it you want to get yourself in a position where you're kind of turning internships or job offers down of course at the moment it is a bit of a quiet market and there aren't as many jobs as there usually are, but it is starting to pick up a little bit. So if you go into every single interview thinking, do you know what? I'm going to give this my best shot. So, um, and then at least if you don't get the job, you're like, do you know what? I really gave it my all. They're not the right opportunity for me. But if you're kicking yourself, thinking, ah, if only I'd done this, I could have tried harder. They asked me a question that I should have prepared for. So at least you know if you've prepared, you've done your research, and you go guns a-blazing to get this opportunity, and you don't get it, then at least you can have the peace of mind that maybe it just wasn't the one for you. Um, another good thing is the water trick. I mean, this is the oldest interview trick in the book. When they ask you a question, say, oh, that's a really good question. Let me just think about that. And then your brain's whirling. And then you take a sip of water. And when you're nervous, your throat dries up. So you're kind of allowing yourself to, to clear your throat, to help yourself talk um, in a much freer, more relaxed way. And then you can answer the question. So that's another old trick as well and really prepare some questions so you might ask some things like so um what levels are you hiring at at the moment if they're hiring for juniors are they hiring for middleweights and seniors does that mean that they are in a position of growth across the business that they're doing quite well which is a great sign obviously if there's a lot of hiring going on um, it means that if you did get a job with them likely chances is they're looking to invest in you so what are people looking for in juniors in the industry they want to learn something from you we need you guys like juniors are the life blood of the industry okay um and you're the new generation coming through the ranks like we're looking to learn stuff from you like new technologies rather than you just telling us like skinny jeans are ridiculous and we shouldn't be wearing them i'm a millennial you know 
what else can you teach us aside from that? What can you bring? What new technologies are that are out there? You know, brands are going to be wanting to, to speak to you and your generation. So how do your peers want to be communicated with? That, that's really valuable insight that you'll be bringing to that agency. Also, they're looking for someone that's super keen, that wants to get stuck in, that wants to learn and wants to grow, that has a really strong work ethic. Every single um, industry leader I've also spoken to, there's one thing in common. They're all lovely. Um, there's a saying in our industry that <laughs> no brilliant jerks, no assholes. Every single job spec or that I work or job ad that I the uh, job that I advertise or anything that I work on, the main thing they say to me is no egos. Um, they're going to be working in a team with other creators. We need to know they're a really strong team player, okay? And um, so make sure that they believe that you are going to be part of their A team, that you play well with other people, uh, that it's not all about, of course, a part of you is going to be like, what's in it for you with this opportunity to a degree? But also, don't forget, you've just finished your studies. You haven't yet worked on multi-million pound brands or pitches or anything like that. You've got a seed of potential that they can see in your book. You haven't yet had a chance to exercise your creative flex to see where you could truly go when it's being applied in a commercial setting where you're being hired by this agency to pay your bills so make sure that you come across really keen and willing to learn and being humble goes a long long way never ever ever be complacent and um, as I said even the industry leaders that are the best in the industry still have this air of them of loveliness of being humble and nice people do really well in the creative industry um, so just be aware of that as well when you're interviewing and how you're coming across and showing a bit of yourself and your personality and how you could fit in with the team and um good luck so what's some things i could tell you about online interviews okay so one thing you might want to do is have on your screen your cv and your portfolio maybe as pdfs um because what might happen is they might say oh can you show us your work and talk through it and then you have to do a screen share you don't want to be like rambling around like oh god where's my cv and portfolio have it there have it in front of you again you're in control of this have your website um link open in case they want to talk through your website as well as a point of context to go back to so make sure you're mindful of that and if you stumble over your words that's okay earlier on in this video i stumbled over my words right but it's not there's no such thing as if you put a, a bad foot in the wrong direction it's the step after that that balances it out my, my friend that's a really well-known uh, jazz pianist always says the thing is when you're playing music a bad note isn't a bad note if it's followed by a good note so even if you do something in the interview it's a bit of a clangor and you're like oh god just compose yourself you're a human being at the end of the day and you're you're interviewing for the first time so don't beat yourself up don't be too hard on yourself try and enjoy it try and be take that nerves that you're feeling and try and feel excited like you're speaking to some people in the industry that you would love to get some one-to-one -one time with they may even uh, feedback to you on your portfolio in some way wouldn't ask that in the interview but they might make some comments that will be quite beneficial for you going forwards and just be excited as I said about the fact that they are um, considering you for an opportunity this is cool this is awesome this is a step in the direction of where you want to be as a creative for your goals of where you want to get to and what accounts you want to work on and what sort of work you want to be producing so be really aware of that and um good luck everyone make sure you are never late for an online interview because if you're late for that that just means you can't walk from your kitchen to your desk um and the market is starting to pick up a little bit out there okay so just keep the faith keep going you've got this and if you you don't have to be out of the industry unless you choose to be out of the industry. So keep creating work, work on self-initiated projects, go on the dots, go in the ask section, ask if anyone needs some help with a design task or if you can collaborate on something. Um, never stop learning, never stop creating, upskill yourself and you've chosen this career. So don't give 
up and you will be successful if you have that attitude of grit and resilience and love for what you do you will succeed um, have a good day